That's rock and roll. And uh, thanks, everybody, for hanging around there. I was just saying, if you're just checking in, had a little bit of a rolling blackout. We've had about five of them today, four or five. Uh, it's been a pain in the butt trying to work. But uh, as with everything else, you endure, overcome, and move on. And uh, so my name is Kerry Miller. For you, of those of you who are here first time, and uh, glad to see you, Bob, and uh, Zaheer, Ed, Gary, Deb, Tom, Ken, uh, Alan, Andy, everybody that's, uh, that's checking in there. And it's good to see everybody. Uh, we're going to roll on with training here and get everything started. I am here every single Wednesday night. Let me go ahead and click that little button right there. And uh, it's always a pleasure to come to you. Get a little bit of housekeeping out of the way. If you are not getting our updates for training on Wednesday nights, uh, if you would go to instantappwizard.com forward slash training to get on our email list. Every Wednesday, I send out a reminder at about 6 o'clock with a new fresh link for you to log in. And if you want a text reminder, if you're like me and you can't remember anything, text IAW training to 27126. And you will get a reminder that we are having training. It pops out there about a quarter till. And uh, I do that just so I know to get behind my computer and, and, and get ready to go. And if you have not joined our YouTube channel, this is so, so important. I can't stress our YouTube channel enough. If you have not joined our YouTube channel, go to youtube.com forward slash instant app wizard. If you will subscribe to our channel every time we update a training or upload a training, you will get a notification, and uh, it's going to be very important. I'll talk about that in just a moment on some training that I'm putting together. <clears throat> but uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a ton of subscribers, uh, well over 100,000 views. Been doing this for a while. And uh, so uh, make sure you go to our YouTube channel. And uh, like us on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash instant app wizard. And, of course, our most famous page of all, our facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash instant app wizard. And as always, I've had several people email me this week and say, hey, I can't get in the group. You keep uh, telling me uh, I'm not uh, eligible. If you are, if that happens, please email me at carry at instantappwizard.com, and I will be more than happy to put you in. Sometimes you sign up under a different name than what your Facebook is, and uh, we're very specific on who we let in our group. It's for members only, and uh, it, that way it keeps the spammers out. Catch a spammer every now and then. Somebody slips through the cracks, as always. But we immediately get rid of them. What do you need for training? What is it that you need for training? What is it that you'd like to be trained on? Kerry trains all the time on questions that he gets during the week and so forth. I am going to send an email uh, tomorrow, and I'm also going to post it in the group. I'm going to post a, uh, a question and answer. <clears throat> I want you to tell me what you want to be trained on. And what I'd like to do over the next four weeks is train on the specific things that you individually need to be trained on. Uh, maybe you're having a tough time with the color system. Maybe you're having a tough time uh, knowing what needs to go on an app and what doesn't need. It doesn't matter what it is. <clears throat> maybe maybe you just maybe you want to talk on the training. Maybe you want to maybe you want to let everybody know what your name is. Irregardless of what it is, I'm going to put up a uh, a survey and I want you to tell me now, some trainings, I may combine two or three things, depending on <clears throat> how long those things will take during training. Some of you will post the same things, which is always good. And uh, I will make sure that we train on those specific topics. We won't interact with anything else. We won't put anything else in there. Uh, maybe we can get every bit of it in, in an hour, an hour and a half training. But uh, over the next week, between now and next week, and what I will do is I will put out a specific list of what will be trained on during those periods. If there's three topics, this is the way I'm going to break that training down. If we go from zero to 20 minutes, I will specifically break that training down so that when you see it in the group or you see it on YouTube, that you know the first 20 minutes is on the coloring system. And maybe from uh, 21 up to 45, it's on something else, and 46 up to something else. And, and that way, everybody here that comes to our trainings, I think we get three or four hundred uh, three or four hundred views a week on our trainings after the training's over. Uh, everybody will be able to know exactly where to go, but this is your training. Wednesday nights are for you. They're not for me. 
uh, I know how to build apps. I'm very proficient at it. Uh, I know how to sell the apps. I'm very proficient at it. I want to make sure that you're very proficient at it. Let me use an example, and I use Ed all the time, okay? Uh, In-depth PayPal integration, uh, but see no instruction on adding multiple detailed payment buttons. Uh, I personally don't use PayPal, but uh, if you'll put that in the thing, I don't like PayPal. I don't, uh, nothing about it. I wouldn't personally use it, uh, but I will, uh, I will uh, uh, research it and uh, see how to put multiple. I can tell you how to put multiple detailed buttons. You create multiple buttons and you use the HTML and you, uh, you create it that way. But I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to create multiple buttons and, and do that. Uh, no problem. But, but things like that. He wants to use PayPal on his, on his, on his app. Uh, and if I don't know how to do it, I can promise you this. I will learn how to do it, and I will show you how to do it. Okay, is that fair for everybody? If I don't know how to do it, I will research it, and I will teach you how to do it. So that way... <laughs> There's no stone unturned. It may take us eight weeks. Whatever it takes, I want to teach you and show you how to do every specific thing that has to do with Instant App Wizard so that there is no question in your mind how to do it. Uh, I've probably posted 500 times how to put a video in, okay, at least. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to get with Woodrow uh, after the trainings are, are done, and we will index them on our boot camp page. That way, and I will make sure that it's lined out there, you know, 00, zero this video is 00, zero to zero 020, and they will be indexed specifically on these trainings. Now, it will take me some time to do that, and I want to make sure that they're done right, and I will make sure that, that everything's done correctly. So don't, don't jump up and down if, if you missed next week's training and it took me till Saturday to get it uh, done and get it edited and get everything done correctly. But this training is for you. And I think this is very important. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Okay, so uh, one other thing about training, and, and let me just log in here real quick. I got logged out when we had the rolling blackout. I think training is very important. I think you hear me say that a lot. Um, I think it's probably the most important thing you can do. I spend a couple hours a day training. We will go over that. We will go over that. Put that in there. We're not going to go over that tonight. Uh, actually, I probably can show you how to do that. Bob, uh, your apps are, are, are very convoluted anyway. You need to, uh, you need to, to watch the boot camp and, and, and uh, tone down a lot. A lot of your front page stuff. I talk about above the fold. I'm, I'm not going to point in. I'm not pointing Bob out. I'm just, this is very important that everybody hears what I have to say. So don't feel like you're being pointed out. It's when you build these apps, you need to be above the fold, above the fold being the bottom of the phone. Google recommends how many buttons? Does anybody know how many buttons Google recommends on the front of an app? Does anybody know that? I've taught this for like two years now. Can anybody tell me how many buttons Google recommends on the front of an app? Seven. Thank you, Tom. And Tom's been with me for uh, three years, and, and he knows that. So, yeah, six or seven buttons. That's all you need. Everything else needs to go into a menu structure, which we have built into our app, okay? But let me jump into this demo app here real quick. I'm going to swing over here. I'm in the process, and I started doing this today. I just finished up. I've been working on a webinar for the last uh, few days. I just finished it up, and uh, uh, it's still rendering as we speak. It got knocked offline a couple of times, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ensure, okay, and I've started working on this, and some of you don't even know these are here. I, I'm going to start focusing on individualized uh, training. Uh, see up here where it says tutorial video? If you will click on that, it will bring up a tutorial of this specific topic, home page. It will talk about the text and the HTML, the images, the links, social media, uh, landing pages. But this is the video that shows you how to use this specific area. Some of the things in here, you would assume, okay, and you know, everybody knows what assume means, that people know exactly what, what to do, okay? As in, 
links to pages and phone numbers, the title, the icon, and select link to website, call phone number, and text mobile number. This is what happens. And it happens every single day. I probably get this question, I don't know, at least two to three times a month. Carrie, when I go to links to web pages and phone numbers, I can't find where to put the number. And I understand that because some of us are used to platforms and some of us aren't. So every single tab, every single tab will have a tutorial on it. And I've started working on that today. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I'm finishing up the tutorial for uh, links to web pages and phone numbers and HTML text pages. Those should be up tomorrow. And I'm just going to go right down the list. It will have an explanation of exactly what that tab is for. And so that way, when you're sitting there on the weekend, you have nothing else to do, you can watch Carrie train on a specific item. And if you get down here and you get lost and you say, wow, I don't know what the heck this is, rate us. Do we want to enable a rate us on the page? Yes, we do. Okay. Now, does anybody know what rate us is for? Does anybody here know what rate us is for? Anybody? Do, do we know what to even use that for? That's right. And, and, and Bob answered that question because first, because he's been here for four years. Reputation management. Bob, uh, 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 Andy too. So I'm going to go over and I want to make sure that when you open a tab, that there is a video button right here. Okay? Is that And I will not assume anything, again, uh, for myself. And uh, I am working on these. I started working on them today. I'm very committed to getting this project done. Now, with that said, I need to say this. Please understand, and I probably talked to, gosh, at least 10 to, 10 to 15, 20 people a day, okay? Uh, I, I, I saw Daryl's name scroll across. I was talking to Daryl today at lunch. He had a question. He had a, he had a, he, he needed answered. Uh, I was at my favorite Italian restaurant, and uh, Daryl said, man, can I talk to you? I've got a serious problem. I, I was uh, eating spaghetti and sausage while I was speaking to Daryl. I will take time to get back to you. I will make sure your questions are answered that day. Everybody knows the best way to get a hold of me, and that's been happening, and this is very important for training. Just shoot me a message on Messenger. Now, with that said, and I'm, I'm focusing right now on training, okay? We're going to get to the other thing in a minute, but I'm, I'm dead set on making sure everyone is trained to the absolute max on what's inside this system, okay? And if you have a problem, that your problem is rapidly taken care of. But when I'm recording, I have to turn off my phone because uh, uh, any noise, any ding, anything, as you know, because you hear it sometimes, even during training, because I forget, gets picked up. And also, I have a bad habit. What is it about the? What is it about text messages? People respond to a text message with in what? Two or three seconds. I am so attuned to picking up my phone when I get a text message, I literally stop talking and pick up my phone and start texting. So I don't want anything to interfere with my uh, three to four hours a day of making sure that all of this training is taken care of. Is that fair to everyone? Is, is that, and I will get to your questions every day. All you need to do is send it to me on Messenger. Say a support question, please just send it in to support. Uh, there's some support things I can help you with as far as the training side. And, and, and what, what did I not turn on on this app? And I, I get those questions all the time. And, and I pretty much know the answers without even looking. So, but I am committed to you that over the next four to six to eight weeks, we're going to go, we're going to do that. What do you need training on program? I'm going to send out an email. Highly recommend that all thousand of you send in your what you need. And I promise you, my word, we will focus on that if at the end of the year so that every single T is crossed. And every single I is dotted. Okay? Uh, is that something everybody would like? I mean, just go ahead and let me know now. If not, we'll go another direction. But I want to work on that, and I want to make that happen. And uh, I want to make sure that we are here to, to, to you. So, uh, yes, yes, everybody say it. Absolutely. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome.
Thank you. Okay, now let's move on. This week we're going to go right into in the re this. What I've been doing over the last few weeks, as you know, is uh, all the questions that are focused on a specific topic. I've been training on the following Wednesday, and uh, this past week, uh, gosh, probably 10, 15 questions on this specific item, which is the copy codes. There's a few things that you need to understand and you need to know about copy codes. Okay, it's pretty simple. Uh, you need to uh, understand what you need to do, what you need to turn on, what you need to turn off, and more importantly, what you need to check. Okay, what you need to check. So let's go in here real quick, and I'm going to show you two ways to use copy codes. As many of you know, we took six of our most popular. Yes, this works only in 2.0. Copy codes do not work in 1.0. As a matter of fact, there are probably resellers in this group right now on training that doesn't see this. I've had that question a couple of times over the past few weeks because our new resellers don't get the old 1.0 system. This is, uh, you know, the, the apps are still great. You can still use them. You can still build them. But the technology is in the 2.0 app. So all you have to do is go to 2.0 web app. And this is on the copy code, okay? We're talking specifically on the copy code. Now you have two choices here, all right? And the first choice we're going to do is we're going to create from a template. When you go in and you create from a template, these are apps that are actually that were actually built, and they're on the streets and they're making money. Once an app, I will tell you this, and and most of these apps are the designs that I've built. We've taken a couple other designs from some other people. When these apps quit selling and I come up with something different, I will add that in there and you can use that to go out and start making money with. Okay? <clears throat> these apps and these templates are extremely simple. Now, somebody, I had this call, this just, uh, what's today, Wednesday? I had this call on Monday. Carrie, can I use the auto app for anything else? Absolutely. These are strictly templates. Just because it says, and let me click on here, create from a template. And you come down here, okay, and it says auto dealer. This just happens to be the app that I use for an auto dealer, okay? Now, it's got a directory in it. Click to view our cars and trucks. If you want to take that out and you still want to use this uh, layout and you don't want the uh, photo gallery, all you have to do is take that stuff out. I'll show you how to do that on this training. Because I think sometimes people get confused. They say, oh, man, I really like that style, but I need to put a video button up there at the top versus uh, a directory, and uh, I, I don't want the uh, photo gallery on the bottom. These templates are simply apps that were created, custom web apps, that can be changed any way you want. Okay. Now, we've got some resellers that literally go in here, they click on the button, and they make everything match exactly like it is, with the exception of what? What can you not use from these copied apps? What are the two things you cannot use from these copied apps? That's correct. The logos, okay? The top logo and the center logo, and you can't use their brand, okay? These are apps that actually belong to companies. Now, I'm sure that, uh, that Easy Valley Auto Sales would love for you to go out there and push their app everywhere with their information on it. I can promise you that they would probably enjoy that. But you're building these apps for your clients. So all I'm going to do is I've selected this app, okay? Now I can come over here to Coupon Directory and I can select that, or I can select this business card here. Now we've not looked at a lot at this business card here, and I'm going to look at this business card for one specific reason, because of the logo. All right, someone posted in the group the other day, man, how did you get that logo to do that fancy animation? Okay, that's actually a part of the Instant App Wizard platform. They did not create that in a program and make that animation happen in a program. They uploaded two business cards. Okay, and let me say this as let me say that when I get there. So anyway, we're going to use this particular app here. All right. Now this is the older style business card. This is a business card that I launched when the 2.0 system first came out. But we're going to select that. 
When I select that, you come up here to app copy code, and the specific copy code for this template is automatically placed right here in app copy code. Okay? All right, Nikisha, you wish your mom a happy birthday. You give her a big hug and kiss for me, and you tell her that comes all the way from the great state of Texas. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you for coming as, as, as you did. Thank you. Okay, now the only thing you have to do here is come down here and put in a new web app title. Okay, now I'm going to say call this demo app because I don't know how many of these things I have in here. A ton. App 8. Okay, and I'm going to name it demo app 8. That's the only two things I need to put in this information. I've already selected the template. I clicked on the template I wanted, this business card right here. Okay. Uh, I gave it a web app title. You can see the copy code is right here. And I gave it a URL. And all I have to do is come down here and click save. Honestly, it doesn't get any quicker than that. I mean, you could, you, I could have done this in less than one minute. In less than one minute, created an awesome looking app. Okay. Now let's come down here to continue. Now I'm going to show you individually the components of this app. Let's go into edit content. I hope you can see the anime. I'm not sure how big the screen is that you guys see. Mine is really, really small. Okay. Now, how many of you can see the logo right here? All right. And if you'll count to three, you can see that animation start, and you can see the animation come in and change the logo. That's actually part of the Instant Wizard system that's built in when you put multiple logos on top of each other. You can have them do many. I don't know how many is in there total, maybe 15 or something like that. But you can have these do a lot of things. Now, one thing, and take a piece of paper and a pencil and write this down and put a sticky note on your computer. This logo, I highly recommend that it's the same size for both logos. Okay? That it's the same size for both logos. Now, with that said, and I can't remember who did it, but I copied their style. Uh, it might have been Daryl Warner. I can't remember. But anyway, part of their logo was... Um, uh, it, part of the logo looked identical, and then it came over here on the right side, and it put a little uh, cartoon character or something like that. But uh, I, I did it on another app that I, I, I built for a car, uh, car dealer. But anyway, there's many things that you can do with this that you can get extremely, extremely uh, uh, create. Uh, cre golly, I can't even talk. You can be very creative with this. Okay, now I'm going to show you in just a second, Ed. Give me one second. Now, <clears throat> we can all see that there's multiple buttons here. Georgia's got a cell phone. Mary's got a cell phone. Then there's a call us button, an email button, and a Facebook share. Now, if you'll notice what I did here, I used a tab bar. Okay, this is a tab bar, and this is a button bar. All right? Now, I'm going to come over here to content, and I'm going to get to that logo here in just a second. Now, I'm going to come over here to the home page, all right, because I want to clean this up real quick. I've already got call us, email us, Facebook share, Mary sell, and George sell, so I'm going to come up here to links. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn off email us. Okay, you have to turn off these individual buttons if you're having any buttons on the front page. Call us. Uh, George's cell. Mary's cell. Oops. Okay, and you see everything went away. 
Now this turned out to be what? Just the standard business card, okay? Now I need to come down and I need to go to links to web pages and phone numbers. You can come in here and what you need to do is you need to edit this stuff, all right? So call us button, this has got Georgia cell in it, all right? You need to edit this. Uh, Mary Cell, make sure you go into each one of these things and edit this information or what's going to happen is, is you're going to leave that on the table and uh, somebody's going to get a phone call from wherever you're at and wherever they are, okay? Same thing, V-Card, anything that's on this app and what you need to do is, this is one of the things that's happening. What you need to do is when you take a template and you go in there and you make whatever changes is that you're going to make to it, make sure that, and I didn't save that over there. First thing you do is make sure you save it. All right. Make sure you save it so that, uh, <coughs> so that your work is for naught. And somebody the other day, I, I sent them a message. They had duplicate buttons all over their app. And they literally took off all the duplicate buttons and they had five buttons on the front page. Okay. Let me hit save. That should be fixed now. And that's a good question. I'm going to go over that in just a second. I know we were having that problem and I know Mark went in and fixed it, but it's still glitches every now and then, okay? Now, let me show you what Ed just said. He said, sometimes I'll be in and I find that the phone numbers don't change. All you have to do is come in and delete that phone number, okay? Remove it, yes. Add a new, call us. And this is going to answer two questions, actually. A call phone number, 555-555-1212, and save. Now, when you delete something and go back and put it in, now you need to come up here. Because remember, I don't have all the uh, buttons turned off on the front page. That button showed up. If I had all the buttons turned off, like we do when I do the other style business card, this would say show on homepage no, that button wouldn't show up. But when you have buttons like this, and that's the reason I selected this app, okay? You need to say no here. But what do we have to do? This button right here is no longer connected to a phone number. Does everybody understand that? This button, this call us button that was created is no longer attached to a phone number because you removed that number, you deleted it, and you created a new one. And this is the number one question I get every single week is, Carrie, my button is not working. And I will come in here and two things happen. You either forgot to put a phone number back in and or you put a phone number in, but you did not go to settings, you did not go to header, and you did not reattach that link to that button. Let this load up here, and that's a button bar. Let me go to call us. Does everybody see what that's attached to right there? It automatically defaults when you, when you delete something. It automatically defaults it to home page. So what I need to do is come up here and reattach it to that phone number and come up here and save. And guess what just happened? Now this button is attached to that phone number. Always remember this. If you have something that's not working, can you make a button bar more transparent? Absolutely you can. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Uh, you can take the colors completely out of it if you want to. What was I going to say? A 
I forgot what, what I was going to say. But anyway, the number one reason that these don't work is because you do not go in there and link these. Okay? Now let's look at these images right here. This is what Ed's been waiting for. The first thing you need to remember about making these images, irregardless if they're a ping with a transparent background, when you put multiple images in, it removes the trans background and it makes it white. Okay? If you go in and you create two images and you think they have a transparent background and you put in multiple images, they will not have a transparent background. Now, what was cool is, is and I can't remember who created this, and this is the reason I use this concept, they used two identical images and they removed part of the logo up here and replaced it with another logo. And when, it tra when uh, the transformation took place, it looked like the only thing that changed was this little side of the logo right up here. Now, when you have two images in here, come up here to image settings, and there's a thing called transition. And like I say, I'm not sure how many is in here, but there's a bunch. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18 transitions, bars, blinds, doors, uh, doors is very popular for me, I like doors, uh, doors just simply open up, I always set my transition to three seconds, I knew somebody was fixing to ask that question, I always set my transitions to three seconds, I used to set them to five seconds, and one day I was just playing with my phone, and I realized I didn't even look at the top of that logo for five seconds. So I started playing with the numbers on what I visually saw. So my visualization is three seconds. And uh, you, you can see, you see the doors open up and it pulls the next one in. But there's a lot of really cool ones in here. Okay. Motion boxes, I'm pretty sure is what, what, what that was uh, that was in there. I, I really like that a lot. I use motion boxes a lot. Um, I, I've actually used probably all of them. No, it wasn't motion boxes. I'm not sure which one it was now. But you can get them to do anything you want. All right? You can get it to fly in. And it's really cool. And let me tell you something. You want to impress a, uh, a customer? Do that right there. Put those transitions in there when they give them two business cards. Yes, I do charge for that. I charge $29 for an additional business card. I do charge $49 for two business cards. The, the, the initial business card comes with the app. The second business card, I charge for. And it's 20 And you know what? People that have advertising, that understand marketing, they don't have a problem with that. Right here. Add new image. Upload your image, okay, and then all you do is add two of them. Add the first one. The first, now, if you want the images to flip and you want this one to show first and you put them in wrong, all you got to do is transfer them over, and this will be the first image to show. And I, I've done that. You know, sometimes I get in a hurry and I need to get the app out real quick, but all you do is add an image, and you can put as many images in here as you want. Let me recommend that you don't go over three. If you put three, go to two seconds. Now you're talking six seconds. Count that. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. That's a long time. Six seconds is a lifetime. Ask a NASCAR driver, okay? Six seconds can lose or win the race. So, no, I'm not putting it in the HTML area. I'm in the images for the header. I'm under settings. So just like you do any logo. Guys, I can only answer one question at a time. I see your questions. You don't have to continue to put them in the box. Yeah, right here under a header. All right. In the images, just this is a regular header image, logo image. 
And this is the only place you, yes, that's correct. This is the only place you can, uh, 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 this is the only place you can use a transition, is what I'm trying to say. All right. Any questions on the transition or the image at all? Styles and colors. You know, Bob, I might have told you wrong. I can change the, the background color of the header, but I don't think I can tone down the, uh, the button bars. I don't think I can make them transparent. I never do that, so, but I think I told you wrong. I can change the transparency setting of the background color, all right, but I don't think I can change the, uh, the uh, header button transparency. I think I told you wrong. And if I ever tell you wrong, I will be the first to admit it. Like here, background, you see it? Now, let me show you something. If I tone that up, and this may be what you're talking about. See how I put a background color behind this? I didn't want that background color. Yeah, it's very cool, Ed, very cool. I will be, uh, I don't want that back there. I want my background image. So I take that all the way down to transparent. And that's what I was thinking about when you said that. Okay, the button bar itself, okay, you, you cannot bring the colors down on this, all right? But what I recommend you do is tone your colors down. If you'll notice, see this, see the white right here? I took that from the right, white right here. See the maroon right here? I took it from the maroon right here. The grays right here, I took from the grays right here. I always color match all my apps to the logo. I mean, I pull the exact colors off of the logos, all right, and match it up. I do a lot of uh, apps for Hispanics. My Hispanic apps uh, for the Hispanic market are usually bright oranges, bright blues, uh, bright greens, uh, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, those are sometimes those are re they really pop out, but that that's that's what they want. Uh, if I'm doing something like this, this, this is an antique auto uh, sales company. Uh, this was uh, their logo, and I took the colors right off the logo. <laughs> yeah, regular app fashionista, absolutely. But <coughs> let's say that I wanted to tone this down right here and make it one of the colors behind me. Maybe I could come in here, and, and, and this is a... Pay attention to what I'm fixing to do. All right. I'm going to pull a color. And I knew that was going to do that. I'm going to pull a color from right here behind this button. All right. And I'm using Google Color, whatever they call it. And you can, can everybody see that little triangle up there pulling the colors? Now, this is exactly behind, okay, this is exactly behind that tab bar. So let me pull this gray color, bam, and I'm going to come in and copy this, and this may help you. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go to my tab bar, and I'm going to swap these out. Background color, I'm going to go here to this little button up at the top, this, these four little bars. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to paste that color code right into there, okay? Now, did you see it pick up the color that I picked up right there behind it? Now, watch this. I'm going to come in. I'm going to change the border color to the maroon, and I'm going to change the text to the dark gray. Does everybody see how that totally changed? I mean, literally. Yeah, colorpicker.com is a good one. Colorpicker.com is a good one. What I like about Google Chrome's color picker is it is the, the, the color match is so good. I've, uh, I've used colorpicker.com, but the match is so good. I've not found a color picker that matches as well as the Google Chrome color picker. But that's my choice. You can use whatever. So you can see here that I toned that down a lot. And add that, I mean, Bob, that may help you there, okay? That may help you there. 
And what I do now, you just talking about, uh, let, let's come down here to the uh, main links. Can everybody see the color behind this? See this with white, but I, now I can fade that out. Yeah, I can select the pixel to the level. Okay, now I'm going to come down here to Icon Box. Now this is really cool, and I do this a lot. The color back there was actually this dark gray. Okay, but what I really like doing, okay, what I really like doing, yeah, I put a lot of transparency in my buttons too. I toned this down so I could see through, but I didn't want to tone it down so much. That look, I can't see my icons. So what I do is, is I bring this up until I can start seeing my icons, and I put that at about a 50. All right. <clears throat> now it looks like I've got a window behind my icon. The best browser to use, without question, is Google Chrome. I do not. I don't even go into. I've got one program that I use with uh, Firefox. Google Chrome. And I did the same thing down here. If you'll notice, this is white. Okay. I did the same thing to my text content box because I wanted this to show through. All right. Now, you can also, this will help you uh, tone it down also. See the border sizes? Bring those borders down a little bit. Some some of you, boy, you really get those borders like way out there. If you want to really tone it down, bring those borders down just a little bit. My favorite size is about a seven. That's my favorite size. All right. But then you got your color right here, and the same thing. The background transparency, there it is, set at a hundred. There it is, set at uh, zero. But what happens to my text? And I can tell you, I, I played with this app for a while because I wanted this app to look really good. This is one of our showstopper apps is what I call it. No matter what color I put here, because look, there's gray back there, there's white, there's cream, there's black. I mean, every color in the world is behind this app. So that's why I chose white. And I came in, and I tuned it up there about a 70. And now colors stand out all right and remember this is still the what this is still the same uh, uh, template that I pulled a while ago and what we've done is is all we've done is we come in here and we've made a few changes okay save the home screen triangle same thing these are solid colors Developer text, I get asked about this every week. This text right here is called developer text. All right. You can change the size, down the size. Okay. I can change the text color, whatever I want to do. Now, let me show you something. This is very important. See all the information right here in this area? This is all done under content body. This text is changed under content body. Okay? This background color is changed in content body. Everything here is changed in content body. Now, I want to show you something. Another, another number one question. A lot of times you will use this and you will have a picture on the front of your app. What happens when you put a picture, an image, on the front of your app? 
in the home section. How do you put a, I'll show you that. You're talking about this link right here? When it pulls that up? Yeah, it covers the background. Right here is a transparency. You see that right there? It's the same thing. I'm going to bring that transparency down. And what you need to check, the number one thing you need to check when you change the transparency is the color of your text. That's you more people when they send me an app and I'll look at it and I'll say oops you need to change the color of your text more people forget when they have an image on the front of their app to change the transparency either up or down what I do a lot of times and I'll show you here is let's say that I've got a maroon background I will match my uh, this background with my background color and I just change it. And then I change my text color. And so if I've got a maroon, a, a maroon background that I actually put down, put in, I'm going to remove the background image because I want you to see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to remove this background image. Yes. Okay. Now, let's say that I want this whole thing that color. Then I'm going to set my background color to the exact same thing. Because what will happen is, I get this all the time. This is the reason I'm pointing this out. You'll go to content body, and somebody will have a background color of what? Let's say white. Okay. They'll have their transparency up. All right. Sorry about that. I'm in the footer. I put a cut. Everybody picked up the wrong button. Okay. Their their background color will be say white. And they don't change this color right here. They just make it as white. And then they'll turn around and they'll come up here and do the transparency. I want you to see something on the transparency. See that little, it leaves a little hue on your, on your uh, background? That's because it's transparency, the lowest will, it will go, and this is, this is programmically set, okay, is 10. That's why if you're matching a color, you can leave it at 100, come into background color, and simply change that color. And now you don't have to worry about the transparency at all. Everybody get that? Is everybody following me? <laughs> yeah, this is a little more advanced, but you know what? Every one of you are advanced. This isn't anything that you cannot do. Every single one of it. Yeah, this, thank you. Great hint. Absolutely. And uh, I learned that the hard way. I mean, it's, you know, I, I, uh, I, learned, this, I learned this just as you guys did. Okay? So... That's that's the way you want to do that. Now, when I come here, let me show you something. Remember, I said transparency right here. When I took away the image, it's pulling out the colors of the background color. All right, it's pulling up the colors of the background color. So maybe I want to come over here to my main links. Now, remember, this is the same, the exact same template that I brought up a while ago. Let's come over here to main links. Let me come down here to my text content box. Let me uh, bring that back up because that looks a lot better, right? Because we got a solid background behind us. We bring that up white. Oh, let, we can leave that like that. But if if I want my icon content box to really stand out, I'll take the transparency out of that too. Actually, what I would do with that personally is I would come in here and I would remove that. I would make that black. Same app. Okay, same app. Just coming in and I'm customizing it to what I want.
okay? I'm customizing the app to what I want. <clears throat> What's important for you to understand is the template. That's what you what you really want to focus on. Which template do I want to use? Okay? And then come in and customize this. Now, I was talking to you a while ago about the trainings. When you come in, and this is going to take the longest, when you open these up, I'm going to have Mark put a training link right here on each individual one of these that will cover each individual button under each one of these. So footer will have a training video, content will have a training video, every one of them. They'll be two or three minutes long. They're not going to be long. Straight to the point and get it done. Any questions on using the templates in the template section at all? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Any questions at all? Because I want to go over it now while I'm here because I'm fixing to go into something else. The same thing, copy code, but something else. Ask away. Ask away. Ask thy question. The logo is uh, 500. I think this one right here is 500 by about 250. But it, it always needs to be 500 wide. Okay? Always 500 wide. Always 500 wide. I'm not going to do a, I probably won't do a platform overview because every single tab will have a video on it. No, that you're talking, he's talking about the logo. See, now we're, we've got two different things. The, the header logo is 500 wide. The center logo for the digital business cards that you're putting in on that one specific thing, which goes right here under text slash HTML, is 280 wide. 280 wide. And that's the image that will show up right here in the center, just like that uh, app I showed. Okay? Just like that. Your header logos need to be 500 wide. And sometimes I do mine 300. Sometimes I do them 50. It just all depends. You tried adding a link on the template, but it did not show up in the content body. It was probably because, where did you try to add the link at? And what was the link? Yep, I, I learned something new every Wednesday myself, buddy. <laughs> Believe it or not, I learned something new every, every single Wednesday. Because I know what I do. Uh, I don't know what you guys do, you know. I mean, I, my apps are very, you can see a Carrie Miller app on the street and you say, man, I know Carrie Miller designed that. The first template, that's because, let me tell, show you what. On the first template, this specific button right here is turned off. When you go to links, on that template, see right here, it says show on home page. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, show on home page. This is turned to no. Now what happens? Watch watch this when I turn this off. Every single thing on the home page disappears. And if you create one, it will not show. On the first template, this is set to no. So if you want a, a single, and I'll show you, if you want a single uh button to show up, turn that to yes. And turn everything else off. You can turn off each individual button. Let's say that the only thing I want to show is the contact us button. Okay. I turned off every single thing. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> every single thing. And I've got that left on. 
Now, if I, even if now I went and turned this to no, even though this says yes, it goes away. And that's the way the first uh, template is built. It's built to keep the buttons off of this period. Because what happens when you build an app? There are two buttons that are automatically generated, right? They're always there. Which is the share web app. And join our list. So if I turn that back on, that button shows up. So, Michael, if you'll go in and check that one button right here under link settings, under home page, turn that to yes, turn all the buttons off that you don't want, and turn the button on that you want, and it will show up. Does that make sense to you, buddy? Awesome. Awesome. Great question, though. Thank you for that, Michael. Great question. I do get that a lot. <clears throat> I think the heat's about to kill me. Any more questions on uh, setting up from the uh, the pre-made templates at all? Make sure, let me just rehash, when you go to content, if you see these buttons up here, make sure that... Uh, I can promise you... That's the problem. <laughs> I guarantee it. With that question, if you will send me the app, if you will send me the app name, uh, and you don't mind me going in your platform, I'll go in there right now, and we'll we'll take a look at it. That way, everybody can. That way, we can all learn together. How do you do two call us buttons? Never thought of that. Uh, just create two call us buttons. Go to content. If you'll notice, this has. To Three call buttons, Georgia sell, Mary sell, and a call us. And these, this is a tab bar. This is a tab bar. And this is a button bar. Okay. But just come down here to link web pages and phone numbers. And you can add as many as you want. Add a new link, add a new link, add a new link. And they can be phone numbers or anything else. Let me show you something real quick. Another big question. How do I add a website? Link to website. And put the website URL right there. You can make it a text us button right here. Text mobile number. You sure can. No, a form cannot be text. It's email only. <clears throat> hey, you know what? And that's awesome, dude, because that is exactly what I was talking about. That's why I'm going to do these videos where it'll be right here and it will show you. This is the most, believe it or not, and this is the most forgot about little drop down box because we don't even recognize it as a drop down box, I don't think. This is the most missed drop-down box of the entire system. Absolutely. Yeah, with pictures. Yeah. I don't even have to say that. Just put pictures, right, Gary? You know? This is the, but this is, this, is, uh, this is the most missed drop-down because what are we so used to doing? Oh, shoot, man. I, this is a call of phone number. I'll be honest with you. I just did that. I knew it was a call phone number. I never saw a text mobile number. <clears throat> and I just showed you where it was. <clears throat> so, just, uh, you know, that, and that's what I say. You just go through the system and know where it's at. But each one of these tabs, and I, I've already started working on these. I, I, I'm working very hard to get every video on every tab. You have my word on that. Okay? I have nothing else to do in my life. Link to website. Call phone number. And, and what happens is when you do text mobile number, it changes this right here to SMS. I'll show you. Oops. I don't even know how to put a phone number in. I'm going to save that. Oh. I'm going to save that. 
You know, believe it or not, I've only done this probably on five apps out of uh, 1,500. Now, when I go in to edit this, I want to show you. See, it says SMS dot whatever the number is. And the call us button has tell. And that's the difference. <laughs> you guys kill me. Y'all talking in Facebook while you're in trading. <clears throat> uh, I sure will, Andy. As a matter of fact, I like that page. I liked your page today. I saw that come across. Anytime you guys post like, I will always like your pages. Okay? And I can put as many of these on here as I want. As many of these as I want. All right? Any more questions on this? I mean, this is what we're here for. So can I use my number instead of the two? Can you can can you use my number instead of the two seven? Well, all a text does is when you click on that, it text is that phone number. Two seven one two six is used for the messaging center and to build a list with. That has absolutely nothing to do with texting from your phone. Zero to do. Along with the viral text feature, and we, we, we've talked about that a lot. Viral text feature has absolutely zero to do with the marketing platform. Zero. 27126 is to build your marketing list, which everybody needs. Did that clear that up, buddy? Next question. I love these kind of trainings because this is what I'm talking about. What do you need? Okay? And you know what's amazing? We're still in the same, same, same template. This is the same template that you can go in and customize any way you want. I can't pull that up. <laughs> I can't pull that up, Bob, on the on the on the trading side. You'll have to you'll have to uh, text it to me. Is there a difference in the join our list messaging center? No, absolutely not. Join our list at join our list. What join our list does is you select. You can put that on there, and you select what um, uh, keyword that goes to. You want to select your main keyword. Okay, now this doesn't have messaging, I mean texting on it, and I'm, I'm not going to put texting on this. Every time I do that, we have to remove it, and we pay for it, and then we, it's just, a, I'm not, but <clears throat> you select the keyword that you want join our list to go to. Okay? Is what you do. But that is... Yes, I, I can show you exactly what, what you did. I know what you used. That's what I, I just went over. I'm going to show you. I want to create that. Let me show you exactly what, what, what you're doing. I'll use very wood right here. Real quick. This way it can answer the question for everybody. And thank you, Michael, for, uh, for bringing that up. You used the auto dealer. Is that correct, Michael? You use the auto dealer app, is that correct? The first one, you said the first one? Okay. Now let me go up here and I'm going to put carry test. I think I've used that a few times too. And I'm going to save it. Now I'm actually going to build a link and I want to show you real quick. Does everybody get anything? I mean, people keep saying there's another nugget. Obviously, you guys are getting something out of tonight's training. 
I won't be able to index this one because it's all over the place. Okay, there's the duplicated app. But that's fine. These trainings are good. You guys just go in once again, pick out the golden nuggets. So it's not this app, it's another app. Is that correct? Is that what you're saying? Let me go in, I will go back. Watch this. I'll show you how simple this is. All right. Let me create another app. I will create 2.0. I will come down here to create from a template. And you are talking about this app right here, the business card. Is that correct? This one right here? The black, it's, a, it's got an engine in the middle of it. Is that correct? Okay. And it's the same thing. This is actually the same app as that, with the exception that has a couple other things. So we're going to select that one. And I'm just going to come in here, and I'm going to put some confusion on it. Same thing here. I don't think he – does anybody have that URL? <laughs> does anybody use that URL? But I'm going to create that real quick. And this is the exact same thing as I was talking about a while ago. All the apps work exactly the same way. Let me come into it content. And Mike, you're not the only one that has this question, so for asking it tonight. Let's come over here to content. Now watch this. I'm going to come over here and uh, I'm going to create. What am I going to create? I'm going to create a page right here. Add new page, All right? And I'm going to say title, my page. And I'm going to put some junk in it right here. Okay. I'm going to save it. Now, watch this. Now, you created a page, and this should have created a button on the app, correct? When I did that, that should have created a button on the app. And it should have put it right here in the middle of the app with all that gobbledygook on it. But it did not. All right? I created that button, but it didn't show up. Now, Carrie's sitting there thinking, where in the heck is my button? I'm going to come over to content. I'm going to go to home page. And I'm going to say, ding. Carrie said to check this on training. Go to links. Go to link settings. Now there's my page, right? That's the page I just created. And it says it's turned on. So in my mind, I'm thinking, dang, why don't I see that page? And then I say, man, I didn't check right here under link settings. See, it says show on home page. So I'm going to turn this on. Okay. And I'm going to save that. I will show you something. You say, well, you know what? Carrie, the dang link still isn't there. Yes, it is. Every one of the links just showed up under the image that I put right here, which is a part of the home page under images. I mean, I'm sorry, under text HTML. All right. Now, it, this is the 280. This one's 281. So... If you don't see it and you say, well, dang, it's still turned on, and you've got an image right here, they're underneath here. Now, in order to get that pulled up, what you have to do, watch the magic. I'm going to remove and or, and or, watch this. I can remove that. I'm not going to because I want to show you this. And I want to only turn on that link, so watch. I'm going to turn off order list. I'm going to turn off Share Web App. I'm going to turn off Watch Our Video. I'm going to leave, leave on My Page. Now watch what I'm fixing to do. I'm going to take these links because the text HTML is where? Right there. Whoops. I'm going to drag that right above there. 
and look at there. My link is now right above my image because I still want that image on there. Now, I would tone that down a little bit, and I would make that smaller, okay, so it didn't take away. But let me give you let me give you a hint, okay? Let me give you a let me give you a what Carrie would do. This is what Carrie would do. I wouldn't put that big button on there. What kind of button was it, uh, Michael? Can I ask what what was the link to? It, it, that will give me an idea of exactly how I would have designed that for my customer. What was the specific link to? Because I'll give you, I'll give you guys some tips, some tricks here. Did I lose you guys? Is everybody still here? Can y'all hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Okay, just a link in the body. Well, there you go. That's a link in the body right there. And what ha probably happened, if you use this particular one, the link was probably hid down here below this, if you turned everything on. Step one, make sure on these apps where everything is turned off, turn this on. Step two, turn off the ones that you do not want, okay, specifically the ones you do not want. Step three, Leave the one activated to show for yes. Now, let me show you something. Uh, this right here, let's just say no real quick. Okay? Let's put everything back like it was. Let's say that that was a join our list, or let's say it had some, uh, some significance to it. Okay? Now, I've already got a button bar up here, so I don't want to convolute the top of this too much. I've already got a tab bar down here. So let's say that that's an important button. Maybe it's drawing, uh, maybe it's building your list, but it's a call to action tab type button. You, you want that button on the front of that app for a very specific reason, and I understand that perfectly, because that button is going to do a specific action to create something. So you can do that. You can put the button on there, and I'm going to show you two things to do. Okay? We've got the button on there. Let me turn this back on. All right. Now, what I would do to this, if I wanted to use that button, and this is that uh, I don't know what period it is, one hour and thirty-eight minutes into the training, but it's probably not that deep. But uh, this is uh, it's nine twenty-six, and we started about eight fifteen. So do the math. So I could come over here to my settings, and I can go to my styles and colors. This is a big button, and it and it and it kind of doesn't fit with, uh, 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 yeah, specifically. Okay, it may it maybe the button is a little bit too big or something, but and I don't want it that big, and maybe I want it to stand out. So when you're building apps, and, and, and to me this is the most important thing, and, and I love it. And I, I get I get a, one or two phone calls every day from customers who say, "Bad Carrie, thank you so much." Those are, that's more that's worth more than any money you'll ever get. Okay, is when a customer calls you and says, "Wow, that is absolutely amazing. Thank you for doing that." So put some thought into it when you do it. But let's come down here to main links, and let's uh, as, as me and Bob Satera was talking a while ago, let's tone this down on this a little. Okay, let's uh, spacing it. Let's go all the way across. Okay, let's bring it all the way across. Spacing height. We're going to bring it down just a little bit right there. Okay. Now, our content box, is it a little bit too big or not too big? Do we need to bring the transparency down just a little bit? Sit there and look at what's going on. Okay. Uh, border radius, how big do you want your border radius, all right? Uh, how big do you want your box? What do you want to do with your box? And you can do that right here from your settings, okay? Do you want to, do you want to straighten the borders out? Do you want to remove the borders? Do you want it to be just a button? Do you want to take the radius off? Do you want to set the size of the buttons? 
Where do you want it to be in accordance with everything? Okay. Maybe you don't want your icon box like that at all. Maybe you want your icon box square. Maybe you don't want any radius on your uh, con uh, text content box. Maybe you want it square. Okay. Now, let me show you something. Me personally, if, if that was uh, something important, and I didn't want to convolute, the, the worst thing you can do on, a, on an app, especially on a phone, because I want you to, when you design an app, I want you to think about this. And when you design an app, I want you to send it to yourself, and I want you to look at it, and I want you to ask yourself this one very specific question. How long would I stay on that app, and is it easy for me to navigate? Bob, that's a great question for you to ask yourself. When you look at the apps that you're building for your sales rep, when you open that app up, you want to say, is that easy to navigate? Is it too convoluted? It, how long would I stay on that app? If you can answer these two questions, that app looks good and it's easy to navigate, then you need to send it to your customer. If you're trying to put every single thing but the kitchen sink on that app, then it's probably not going to work. And you will know that if you specifically send it to your phone and open it up and say, would I use this app as a customer? If you can answer that question, then you've got a home run. Okay? To me, this takes away front of the app. So let me show you what I would do. I would come in here, and there's this is obviously a call to action or something you wanted to do. It was very specific. And I do these all the time. So that's you can see I did one right up here. I'm going to remove that, okay? Actually, I'm going to take them all off. And that's why I like the design of this card. I'm going to save that, and let me come over here to settings. Now, I can put this in one or two places, but I've already used the header, uh, all my header area. So let me come down here to the footer. And let me come in here, and I'm going to put a button bar on the footer. And I'm going to select my page. And I'm going to add the page. But what happens? It's right here above this bar. Now you can do two things. You can leave it there and or you can drag it to the bottom. Just like that. Now what you can do is you can come in here. Now I'm going to, I'm going to change the name of this just to show you. Just to show you something. If it's a call to action, make it a specific call to action. Let's say on this call to action, click here to get our latest coupon. Okay? Call to action, told them what to do, blah, blah, blah. Now look what happens. It spreads that out. And no, I did not spell click correctly, but I'm not going to worry about that. Now let me come down here to the styles and colors. Now, for you folks that are advanced, this means absolutely nothing to you. You do it already, and you probably do it better than I do. Okay? Now, let me come down here, and I'm going to come to footer. And I'm going to go to button bar. Now, I want this to stand out, so I may do something totally different because they're going to click here to go to a specific place. So my background color, I'm going to stick with the theme. Okay? Oops, I'm sorry. I need to do the background color right here of the footer. Okay, I turn that to red. That way it stays with the theme, right? Now, on that particular button bar, I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to turn this button yellow. And I'm going to ring that bus, uh, bad boy in black. And I'm going to change my text color to black. Now, it doesn't take away, now I would probably move this up just a little bit, okay, I would, I would create that and move that up just a little bit, all right, and bring, the, bring that all up just a little bit, but, but what I am want to show you here is, is you just convolute the front of your app, and you place the call to action down here to where it pops. 
That's what leaves people on an app, and that's what makes them push on buttons. If you've got 57 buttons, it's hard for them to navigate. Extremely hard for them. That's the reason we have the slide menu. Is to put all the other stuff. Everyone knows what that little bar means. Everyone knows what the little bar means. Okay, everybody knows what the little bar is. Those these little bars. They're used to seeing them now on apps. And believe it or not, people will push on everything on the front of an app if they're looking for something specific. So instead of putting a button there, we put a little bar at the bottom. If I saved it, and I didn't. Always save, always save, always save. <clears throat> Or you can do it the other way too, that doesn't matter. There's no wrong way if it looks good to you and your customer. And now I've got my call to action out here that stands up, they can watch their video, blah, blah, blah. And they've got all their buttons. And I didn't fill this space up, which is what, what's the most important part of this space? Absolutely, Michael, thank you, but thank you for bringing it up. This is the stuff I want you guys to bring up on training. Because what happens is, and I say this so many times, people call me the next day and say, man, how do you do this? This is what I'm talking about. This is why we're fixing to change formats for the next few months. What is it you need for training? Now, let me show you something real quick. I call this real estate. Does everybody understand real estate? How expensive real estate is? Especially when it comes to advertising on real estate, like billboards on the highway and all that. I call this real estate. This is the most important part of the real estate of this app. When people open this app, you want them drawn to right here. What do you see on the front of that app? Is there any question that that guy is a transmission guy at all? Any question at all? But you know what drew me to that, the, the transmission on that app? When, when, when you see a transmission or you see a sports car, what do they always do to parts of the motor, the brakes, and all the things that are kind of behind the scenes, but they make it stand out? They always paint in bright colors the little intricate parts. Always. Because that stands out underneath the car. And so when I saw that, when I saw this, and I started thinking about designing this, I immediately got, was drawn to this. I took this transmission off the website. Then I pulled this off of their website, and I pulled this off of their website, and then I built the logo. And I wanted this to be the center point because of what? Of these little colors. So when you pull this app up on your phone, those little bitty hints of colors draw you right, right to that point. There's no question that this is a, and this is, a, it's a, uh, I built this logo right here. Uh, there's no question that what this guy does. This real estate here is used for a very specific reason, to sell, to sell exactly your message. So just, just, little, just little tidbits that I use to, when I design apps. And, and I've done it for so long, even though I talk about all that stuff, I still design an app in 15, 20 minutes. Because that stuff is constantly in my brain when I'm designing. When I'm away from my computer, I can care less. But when I'm designing, that's, that's all the stuff. Look at it on your phone. If it looks good to you, it will look good to your customer. If it's easy for you to navigate, it's easy for your customer's clients to navigate. Extremely important. Extremely important. Next question. Is everybody good with the time? I mean, it's, it's like 937 and not one person left. <laughs> good. And I've got all night, so it doesn't bother me a bit. Next question or any questions at all? Be very specific. <laughs> I know who Sheila Jackson Lee is too. Awesome. Everybody's saying, man, let's rock and roll. I mean, somebody throw something at me here so we can go through it. Other than the, the other than the PayPal thing. I gotta do some research on that myself. <laughs> Gary said he just took his fifth chair at all. Let's go. Okay. That's just some of my tips and tricks. Now, let's move on to the other thing. It's called the Template Club, right? Hang on just one second. Let me pull that up. 
if you haven't joined the Tippet Club, I recommend you join it. And if you want to share in there, uh, the only thing I, I say. On that, on why would you kill the home in previous button? No, I would not kill the home in previous button. And, and I tell you what, on a tab bar, on this style, if 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 I wasn't using this style and I was using the other style, no, I wouldn't have the home in previous on there. But what happens is, is you can only put this on specific things. Okay? You can only put it on specific things. If I kill one, I've got to kill them all. And I don't want to do that. Because I like consistency. I, I like everything to light up. I have such a, I have such a, uh, you wouldn't know it looking at my house, but I have such a neat freak when it comes to apps. And, and, and everything be a, being geometrically aligned. I will, I will mess with a logo for an hour to get it geometrically aligned. This one right here, I mean, it just, I, I'm just so anal about that stuff. If it was the other style, you wouldn't even see this down here. Okay. Any other questions? Any other questions? See, like right here, on ta he's talking about the tab bar settings. I can do all pages, only the home page, only the sub page, or none. You can't, you can't designate which button you want on or off. The animate well this is only one image you have to have two images to have the animation if I had another image in here then it would come up right here and it would put the animation that that was on the other app give me one second oh whole page animation uh, I, I know what you're talking about hey go just say it and let me let me give you my view on that and I don't, and you use it if you want to that doesn't work well on every single phone Okay, that doesn't work. Well, button bar was the other bar. Whole page animation, okay, page transitions does not work well on every phone. Uh, somebody did one the other day and sent it to me. And I was on Wi Fi, uh, five bars sitting right here in my house, and the app flew and the animation was jerky. So uh, but this is what you're talking about, page transitions. Flip, flop, flop, this, that, turn, flow, slide, slide fade. It doesn't work well on every phone. Especially, and this is what happens, uh, Gary, you get out in the field and you don't have good, uh, you don't have good Wi-Fi, or you don't have good connection, or your, your GTE or GPE, whatever the heck they call it, I don't, LTE. You know, you just don't have good data, and you're trying to demonstrate that app, and the first thing that looks bad is uh, that animation. That's the first thing that looks bad. Oops, I picked the wrong button. Oh, I, you know what? I didn't go in there, and uh, I didn't go in there. And, did you see that? Yeah, on a computer, it flew. On that computer, it flew. When I go back to previous, just see, just see what it did, okay? And that's what he's talking about. I mean, it did this little flip thing, and then when I bring it back, it does this little flip thing. Be very careful with those. Very careful. Next question. That those, those look good. Just be careful when you're out demonstrating that. Next 
Next question. All right. All right, let's go back over here. I want to do that. I want to show you this one other copy code trick. <clears throat> awesome. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to bring this other page back up real quick because I'm going to, it just bogs everything down. Yeah, photo galleries too could be, could be, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. This is App Wizard. I mean, uh, no, no, no. Facebook Tip the Club. Hang on. This is that for the Tip the Club. Here it is right here. It's pulling it up. What you need to remember about mobile web apps is mobile web apps will pay the reason mobile web apps are fast is when you go to a mobile web app the pages are layered on top of each other and not just ours this is all mobile web apps this is the way a mobile web app works so if if uh The template club is very, very important, okay? And the reason it's important is, is because there's a lot of good ideas in here that you can come in here and can glean from. We always talk about nuggets. Now, um, if, you, if you can, when you post a template, okay, unless you're requesting something, if you post a template, actually put a picture of the app in there. Because if you just post a link, somebody's got to open it up, then they got to go back. Actually, post an app, a picture of the app. So let's go down here. This is Safeguard Authorized Dia. This is what Chris Pelkey's app, uh, 68 C1. All right. So I'm going to come over here, and I want to use this. I, I really, and I do really like that, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm going to use that app, and I'm going to come over at 68 C1, and I'm going to create a new web app. And this is if you want to go into the, become a member of the template club. I'm going to go to 2.0. And I'm going to create a custom app. Okay. Create a custom app. And see right here where it says app copy code? 68C1. I'm going to name it. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. I wonder what the odds of that is uh, is uh, covered up. And there we go. Let's continue. Now I created, I pulled that app over. And there's my app. Now, if I want to come here and I really like that design, okay, I would come in, I would take that design, and I would take off, obviously, uh, uh, the logos and everything. And there's a, a picture of Chris. All right. And uh, I would take off the logos and everything, and uh, uh, I would use the design of this app. And all you have to do is go into Template Club and find those that actually posted a... Uh, here, here's another one that, that they posted their copy code. And if you're going to use the template club and you're going to post in here, do that. Now, the template club isn't a place to uh, say, hey, could, do you like my app? That's not what it's for. Do that in the Instant App Wizard group. Don't use the template club as, hey, what do you think about this app? And then you put, you know, the next thing you know, we got all these apps that everybody wants to know what you think of. And, uh, Get a good idea in the, uh, 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 and, and this isn't a place to post questions, any of this stuff, all right? 
use the regular use the regular group. Use this for what it is. It's a template flow. If it gets convoluted, people aren't going to want to scroll down through here and, and see all the uh, conversations. Okay, that's a very good looking app right there. Well, that's Don's app right there. Uh, matter of fact, uh, we we had some conversation over that. All right, another good app. That's uh, Kevin. Really nice app, honestly. Another Don app. Courtney Harris app. So, and they put the copy codes in there and they put a picture. That's a good looking app right there. I don't know who did. Courtney Harris did that. Uh, very nice looking app. Very, very nice looking app. Next question. And you just pull the copy code out. This is how simple it is. I like this app. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go back to my control panel. I'm very thankful Woodrow created this. We just had a blink of the light, so hopefully we're, I'm not going to lose. Is everybody still there? Say yes real quick. My lights just blinked. <laughs> It didn't, didn't go out enough to do anything. I hate summertime with the rolling blackouts. Just go to create a custom. Awesome, awesome. Come up here to copy code. Put the copy code in. Create the app. How many of you use this, this uh, system? How many of you use the template system? How many of you use it or do use it or have used it? A few of you have used it. And there's our app. Okay. And now I can come in because she was so gracious to share this. And I can pull her information out. Now make sure you check the buttons they have. Go in, understand what they did. Okay. And they got a survey here, events, join our list. Make sure all your stuff lines up with what they're doing. This obviously is a good Republican app. Okay. If you have an app that you're having a problem with, uh, I mean, it depends on what you want to do. Yeah, using the these are template club copy codes. Yeah, and you can that's right, Don. That's a great point. If you really want to learn how to get into an app uh, and, and, and see how it's built, copy some of these apps over and deconstruct them. Tear them apart. Look at everything they did. You're not going to tear anything up when you're sitting there at night. And I know many of you are up because I'll be up at two o'clock in the morning and I'm getting Facebook messages. So I know that you're sitting in front of your computers thinking and working and, 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 and building your business. I know that's happening. So, yeah, Don's, me and Don's been on the phone at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, they ask, uh, they ask you know, uh, who, who do you want to call at 3 o'clock in the morning when there's a problem? Everybody calls Carrie. But, uh, uh, and I always answer. But make sure that you, uh, <laughs> yeah, make sure that if you really want to learn how to do this, deconstruct that. That's a, that's a great, great thing. Great, great thing. Yeah, I look all the time. I, I look at everybody's app. I have the, uh, I have the privilege of of talking to so many of you and going in and seeing your apps and uh, I get a lot of great you, you you'll be amazed at how good you get when you see what other people are doing and deconstruct it and look, take a look at it any more questions going on 10 o'clock here great training tonight guys thank you for your questions I I'm excited about uh, our, our new training I really am uh, I'm going to put this up. We've had several people come in and out. Uh, let me go back here. This is our, going to be our new format for the next few weeks. 
I'm going to put a, uh, a question up, and uh, I'm, you guys are going to tell me, and I don't care how, listen, listen, everybody understand what I'm saying. I don't care how small it is. It could be simply, what do you set on your apps? Because believe it or not, I have specific radiuses that I set on my apps, on all my apps. You know, uh, I'm, 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 a, I'm branded. I mean, people know when they see my apps that they're my apps. I, I'm, I'm very picky about that. So we can talk about that stuff. Carrie, you know, what time do you wake up in the morning and what toothpaste do you use? I don't care what it is. We're going to get, we're going to dig deep over the next three, four, six, eight weeks. We are going to dig deep with what you want. And it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited because it'll be exciting trainings just like we're doing tonight. I mean, we went into uh, a copy code. We went into a template and we totally changed that entire template. But guess what? The look of the template never changed. You guys should take the night's training and bookmark it and put it on your computer. Because we took the same template and we changed it 57 times, but it was st still the exact same template. That's how powerful that template system is. Resumes, we'll probably get through, uh, probably b right before school or something. We kind of missed the end of school. I'm still going to get on the web. Uh, somebody just typed webinars. I, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Grace here. You have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for coming. So here's from overseas. He's got an early appointment. It's probably three o'clock in the morning there. But uh, thank you for coming out. Uh, probably right before right before school starts, so you guys can work with the colleges and so forth, and market to that market to that group. I wanted to do it right before school got out, but we got wrapped up in the other trainings. But I will do that, Donald. I promise you. We'll do that, and that will be a quick, you know, one-off money maker that you can go out and make you a couple of three hundred bucks a day on. I highly recommend when you do that that you go set up at the uh, at the colleges and sell them like hotcakes. Because guess what? Every college student has mama's and daddy's credit card. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. Any other questions before we sign off? And I go to my favorite spot to go get a milkshake. I hope Nakisha's already go. She will be all over me. Now, next week, okay, between now and next week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start collecting and start putting together these specialized trainings, okay? And uh, uh, next week, I'm going to try to bring <laughs> Nakisha. I'm not really going to go get a, a milkshake. I'm going to go get a, a diet soda. Not really. But uh, uh, next week, I'm going to try to get Nakisha. I'm going to try to get Christy. Uh, I'm going to try to get uh, Daryl. I'm going to try to get our, our, our famous Roger Panada. Uh, Roger's sold about 500 apps this year. I'm going to try to get Mr. Tom Miles uh, uh, to come on. And uh, Tom's got an amazing story. He's the biggest hardhead in the world. I love him like a brother. I'd hug and kiss him if I saw him tomorrow. And Tom took a journey that I took, and uh, Tom is doing a uh, doing a thing. And uh, free slushies at Sonic. I'm gonna have to go get that. I didn't get that email. But uh, so uh, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a group of you next week, and we're gonna share. And you guys are gonna share your stories. And, and don't miss next week's training. I'm telling you. Uh, last time Christy was on, I'm not kidding. I don't know about you, but she had me balling. I was sitting here crying during training. I was so proud of what she, number one, what she accomplished, but what she accomplished it for. People tell personal stories about their families. Roger Pineda will tell you how literally he was down to 33 cents in his pocket and started his instant app wizard business. And he's built, he's built over 600 apps now. Over 600. He hits the streets every day. He's passionate about his business. Passionate. So... But we're going to do that next week, and I'm going to contact some people and uh, make sure you have your microphones and your computers ready to go. And I'm just going to call on you, and you're going to tell your Instant App Wizard story and share with the world uh, verbally what, what Instant App Wizard means to you. And, it, and, it, and, it, and I can tell you this. You all mean a lot to me, a lot. If I could tell you the number of times that 
you were there for me. You know, everybody asks me, Carrie, you're always happy. <laughs> You'd be amazed at the number of times I'm down in the dumps. But you can pull me up on Wednesday. I promise you. All right, so get your questions together. I will post tomorrow. I will email tomorrow. You can email them to me. I'm going to put some amazing trainings together, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. That looks that somebody just said that looks like that looks like carrying that little orange picture there. I don't know if it does or not, but maybe it does. That's the way I look in the mornings when I wake up, and I got seven apps to build. But uh, we're going to be awesome. You guys are awesome. I want everybody to have a great night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Thank you all for an awesome trading. This trading tonight was off the chain. So uh, make sure you tell everybody in the group to watch this trading. It's going to take a while to, uh, to, to uh, thank you, Nikisha, to uh, render this one because it's over two hours long. But uh, we will get it up. We'll get it up tomorrow. Get your questions ready. I'll have the surveys out. And we are going to rock and roll and have the best times of our lives. Uh, the best days are ahead, I promise you. The best days are ahead, and we're just going to keep on rolling. Thanks, everybody. Everybody have a great night, and I will see you on next week's trading. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much.